So let's talk about this feature of Azure called Stream Analytics. Now, a data stream is a set of data that is coming through and it's very transient. It's actually not sitting in a traditional SQL database. If you had a bunch of data that was sitting in a SQL database, then you could just run a batch job and run a SQL query over that data and extract whatever data and whatever insights you want out of that data that is at rest, essentially, if it's stored in a data store. But if you have data that is just passing through an event hub, then how do you run queries, get reports, raise alerts if something becomes unusual? So we have this feature called Stream Analytics, and basically it is a querying tool and an alerting and monitoring tool that monitors streams instead of stationary databases. Now, the use case that Microsoft likes to prevent, present is the Internet of Things a solution. Let's say you have watches or pedometers or other devices out in the world. You've got millions of these devices and they're feeding back events into an Internet of Things hub or a regular event hub. And so you want to monitor those millions of events per second, detect something that's outside of a normal range, and then you know, raise an alert or take a particular action based on detecting an above average quantity of those things. So let's say, for instance, another example of a stream is a web log. So as people are visiting your website, you're filling up this log with, you know, 200 status codes and what files that they're viewing, what images they are viewing. It's just a continuous stream of data. So what if you could monitor a log like that and be able to say if more than 20 of these uh, four or four events happen within the last five minutes, I want to raise an alert, ping a operations tech, page them on their, on their phone, send an SMS message. So basically it's basically real time analytics of a stream. So if we go over to the dashboard, we can actually type stream. Actually, if I go into the new, uh, function and say stream. We can see stream analytics is a product. I can say create. There's a little diagram here that shows that you've got an event hub or an IoT hub and the data is just sort of passing through and your analytics is either raising an event to your dashboard, doing some type of actual alert or storing that. You can put that into another event hub or put that into a database as something that needs to be taken off care of by another job, right? You could have a function that's monitoring the storage and performing some type of event based on that trigger. Setting it up is pretty straightforward. You just give it a name, pick your subscription and your resource group and your location. Now I have one that's already created. Now the key elements of a stream analytics is the input, which is going to be the event hub or the IOT hub that is being uh, coming in with particular events. There's the output. So it's where does that end up going? And then there's the query. So what is it that causes an output, right? So most of these things you might just ignore, but when you find a date piece of data that matches a certain parameter, a certain pattern, you want to set that to the output. So input query output, it's basically stream processing of data. So you should definitely check out stream analytics. If you have streams within your application designs and see that if you could use this as a shortcut, it's a lot simpler to set up a stream analytics job to monitor this than to try to write your own web job or your own background process, take that data, put that into some kind of file, put that into some kind of data store, run this at a batch process. This is sort of set up and running for you to intercept data in a stream and uh, be able to recognize those patterns that you're looking for.